save our planet, climate change could claim 85% of the Amazon as home to half the world's plants, animals and insects. The lush rainforest historically has been able to reduce atmospheric carbon dioxide by 2 billion tons annually. However, British researchers from the Met Office Hadley Center for Climate Change reports that not only deforestation but now global warming itself is jeopardizing the health of the trees saying that 85% of the forest could perish with an atmospheric temperature rise of 4 degrees Celsius. Findings from other scientists who attended the Copenhagen Climate Change Conference last week concurred, including those of Dr. Carlos Nobra of Brazil's Space Research Institute, also chair of the International Geosphere Biosphere Program in Sweden. Certainly, the most alarming uh, climate change uh, danger is the collapse of the Amazon forest. If the temperature rises 4 or 5 degrees, uh, it's very likely that the Amazon forest will collapse almost totally. So this is really the most alarming climate change uh, danger that we are facing in South America. Also attending the conference was Professor Tim Lenton of the UK's University of East Anglia, who stated, unless we can restrict the warming and seasonal changes we're already seeing in the tropics, the prospects for the Amazon aren't good. A key to limit this warming, according to Dr. Carlos Nobre, is to curb meat production. That is, to halt the clearing of the rainforests for cattle grazing. Worldwide, uh, that's very important because really uh, there will be a lot of emissions if you, we think in the future 9 billion people consuming meat. This is a huge meat consumption which will lead to huge emissions so on the long range we have to decrease meat consumption and particularly for the global tropics specifically for the Amazon deforestation comes about mostly to open up cattle ranches so to produce meat our gratitude Dr. Nogra met to office Hadley Center scientists Professor Lenton and all involved for this vital information that helps awaken us to the severe effects of continued global warming. Let us quickly turn to more eco-conscious lifestyles to save the irreplaceable Amazon, its lush biodiversity and support of all life on Earth. Through her deep spiritual insights, Supreme Master Ching Hai explained in a June 2008 video conference with our association members in Surrey, United Kingdom, how a rapid and complete restoration of our biosphere could be possible if humankind would become vegetarian altogether. If the world were to go 100% vegetarian by now, the good effect of it will be seen within more or less 60 days, eight short weeks. And what kind of earth would we live in? It would be Eden again. Things will be more lush for abundance. People will feel happier, even without reason. They will not know why they feel happy. And food will be enough everywhere. River will run plentiful again. Disaster will cease. Heaven will smile on human. And good wishes will be fulfilled. That is a kind of Eden. If we are to be vegetarian, all of the human on the planet, that will be the effect. <laughs>